All right, so today we're gonna be um, painting the valve cover. I'm not sure if any of you guys know how to paint, but um, I'm using this aircraft remover. It's supposed to remove uh, remove paint, epoxy, acrylic, and lacquer, you know. But I mean, I'm never I've never used a spray type. I've only used uh, the other one, the one that's just liquid, I guess. And I mean, I think you just spray it on there. It's supposed to take around 20 to 45 minutes. And um, after that, it's supposed to just bubble up, I guess, and take off the paint. I mean, it's already kind of chipping off some paint. I'm not sure if you could, I'm not sure if that will focus, but it's already chipping off some paint. There, you see that? Yeah, so today we're gonna be painting this black, gloss black. It was um, wrinkle black, but the wrinkle, it stays on for a little bit until the like starts collecting dust and over the time just scraping it or like detailing or whatever, um, it comes off. So, so it just stays like pretty much flat. So you're not supposed to touch it, but yeah, let's see. Uh, Let's see how this comes out. Hopefully it comes out good. I've never used a paint stripper or aircraft remover. So I mean, yeah, hopefully it works. Now I'll get back to you guys in a bit. All right, so we let it sit for like about 45 minutes maybe. And uh, I don't have a scraper, plastic scraper, but oh man, look at that. Coming right off, man. I'm not even putting pressure on this. Look at that. Oh, man. Yeah, maybe a little pressure right there, but look at this. It's so easy, man. I mean, it did have one uh, coat, but I, I believe right here it had multiple coats inside. Yeah, you see that red right there? I'm not sure if you can see that, but there it is, though. Came out pretty good, it came out pretty solid. So, I mean, this did cost me around, I believe it was like seven, 16 something, 17 something. Yeah, just spray it on and wait 45 minutes. So that should be pretty, pretty good, you know? And then it does say if uh, there's more spots that need more uh, stripping, just add a little bit more for another 45, 25 minutes, whatever you want to wait. And um, yeah, just there you go. Check it out. The color we're actually going to be painting is uh, black. It's gloss black. Can take up a good, a good temp for the head. Well, valve cover, so. Then uh, we're gonna hit it with this gloss clear. I usually use just, uh, just this, but then I actually want to try this. Hopefully it makes it a little bit shinier. Now that my engine bay is a little bit um, shinier, so. Gloss clear. I believe this whole, system, this whole thing costs probably about, uh, I wanna say $30, maybe less. So I got a discount there, so. For a regular customer, probably um, 30 bucks. I got it for like 20, so. There you go, let's just uh, let's strip this out, clean it up. Um, I'll show you guys a quick bit on painting it, sanding it. I might sand it. If it's not too rough, I don't wanna touch this now. If it's not too rough, if it is, obviously we gotta paint it. Yep. Get this done. All right, so I brought the valve cover over here. Um, I let it. I put a little bit more. Then I let it sit for another 45 minutes. Um, now instead of scraping it off, I'm gonna just pressure wash it. You know, okay. I just pressure wash it. So yeah, it should come out right off. And then any little uh, excess that comes off, I just take it off by hand. Okay. So yeah, let's get this done. Alright, so what I did notice is um, all it took off was the top coat. I believe this is primer. You could kind of see the metal in there. 
the bare metal, but um, it didn't take the, prim the primer off, which is kind of good, and whatever, you know. I'm just gonna sand it, I'm gonna clean this up, the rag right here. I'm gonna clean this up, take off those little bits. I'll probably do a light sanding, so it won't have any uh, little minor wrinkles. And um, get this finished up, it's looking good right now. You know, it still did pressure washer, didn't do much. But yeah, I mean, it's looking good right now. Not bad. I didn't have to sand there or anything. See, you could you could see the the old paint right there. It was red, and then it was gold, I believe, and then it was like primed with uh, another gold or some shit like that, man. But yeah, let's get this done. So the sanding, we are gonna use 180 just to take off any um deep scratches or paint like this and then after that um it calls for 320 grit but i only have 400 I don't, i'm too lazy to, to go to the store and actually buy it but i mean i have plenty of 400 so pretty sure it wouldn't make that much of a difference but i'm gonna use the 420 and then uh start start painting it well actually start painting it and um yeah So now that it's all sanded up, now that part I'm not sure what happened there. Um, the paint's off. It's just like a light, thin coat. I believe probably when uh this these fittings got welded up, but it's letting it dry. Hit it with a pressure gun again. Take off all the sanding sanding particles. But um, it's looking good. It looks smooth. I sanded it with 180. Then I finished it off with 400. There you go. Alright, so here's a finished product. Some parts did come out a little bit wrinkled. I'm not sure if you could tell. And there you go. It's a little dark right now, so it's kind of hard to see, but probably see some right now right there right there we're about a clear coat hopefully um the clear coat does some wonders and uh should do something to it one thing i did forget to do is um prime it i didn't know um they made a primer for this but i was reading on the back and i guess they do so that's why I see a bunch of um, little spots like that. So I mean, hopefully, hopefully the clear coat does anything. If not, I'll probably just either leave it like that or paint it again, like wrinkle, wrinkle black or something. All right, so we finished clear coating. It did hide uh, some of those spots, but it came out good. Nice and clear coated shine into it if you look closely I'm not sure if you can see that but you can see some wrinkles but I mean it looks nice and shiny you know see that I did uh, three coats of each there you go look at that we are gonna be sending the Dodge VTEC and the Honda motor And right here, I mean, I don't really care because there's gonna be a cover right there, but once we put this on, it should look good. There you go. All right, so after taking off all the tape, I forgot to throw a video in there, but I actually masked um, this off, this piece, and then my fittings. And yeah, this piece went like that, you know? Took all that off. It came out alright. I mean, I probably could have done better. Would have been better with a primer for sure. But again, I didn't know um, that existed. Little bugs on it, but you know, there was a bug that fell on there. Messed up the paint, but 
Tomorrow I should be able to clean it. I have some stains on it real quick. But other than that, I mean, it came out good. This piece right there, I mean, kind of came out rugged, you know, but came out good. You know, I'll probably give it like a a cool six out of ten. You know, it might look six and a half out of ten after I sand this dough trayer, but come out good, it came out alright, you know. Inexpensive, inexpensive uh, paint job, so doesn't matter. Probably get a uh, powder coated next, but it's alright. So there you go guys, finished product. Came out alright. Let me know. Thank you for watching, man.